Okay. So, sorry it cut off. Um, the phone alarm went and interrupted the video, which is part of the problem, I guess. I'm gonna have to work out later and actually get a real camera or something. Um, if I want to chronicle this. Um, so I was just discussing my, norm my new normal and people that aren't depressed aren't going to know what it feels like to be in a severe depression. My sister once said to me, I think I mentioned I was, I had been depressed lately or something like that. And she was like for an, an entire day. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly what depression is. Depression pulls you into a pit of an abyss, okay? You're in that pit, there's no way out. Then you see a little bit of a rope and you see it dangling and that's other people's light, okay? And you see it dangling and you're like, oh, maybe I can grab onto that person, that positive person for some help and get me out of this hole. And as soon as you reach up, it floats away. Positive people and negative people don't usually, they can't usually take the, the not positive people. Um, we kind of st steal their light or something. I would, I would say it's like that. Um, and it's really hard to get out of that hole. And like I said, it feels like a piece of your soul is missing. And you'll never get it back, no matter what you do. You try and you try and you have hope. And every time you get, every once in a while, you'll get hope. And you will try. And then your world gets shattered and you go back into the hole. So I know what it is like, yes. I know the spiraling thoughts. I know all these other things. Um, no, I've, I've never felt the, um, the suicide thing. Um, I have felt the uh, the other people should go to their own island thing. <laughs> I have um, actually said that on multiple occasions um, during my life and made a joke out of it. And I was I was serious at the time, you know. Um, yeah. So anybody that doesn't know how depression is, show them this video because that's how it is. You cannot peel yourself out of bed, even for your kids, your animals, your whoever that keeps you up in life. There are going to be those times where you can't get up. It doesn't matter how hard they beg. It doesn't matter how hard they, they would have to physically come into my bed, pick me up, get me dressed and throw me into a car and take me somewhere. And even then, I'm probably still going to be depressed. Um, I did have a roommate, uh, a meal that used to do that for me, actually. It's pretty great. She's a great person in a bad place right now, so I still talk to them. Um, and getting off the subject. Okay, back to the new normal. Okay. This needs to be your choice to try to get rid of this. It's, I, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to deal with the depression. I don't want to deal with me being big anymore. I want to get back to my, what I call my 23 year old me. Um, but before I do, I do have a men's to make, sort of, I guess that's what you would call it. Um, so to Chad Bubba Nuts, if you ever see this, um, I'm sorry for everything that went down and how it went down. Um, that situation kind of spiraled out of control and I was still naive and a complete idiot, <laughs> obviously. Um, so for whatever it's worth, I know it's a really, really late. Um, I've actually spent years trying to remember your number, but um, I don't think you would take the apology anyway. So, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. I wronged you. Um, Alright, so now we move on. I did 
a closure letter to my family um, because I couldn't get closure with all my attackers, let's say. Um, they were either in the wind or in jail or whatever and me asking why I wasn't going to fix anything. So I s made a statement to my family, okay, the ones that meant the most to me and didn't actually know what it all, what had all went down. So um, I described in detail what had happened to me. I described how I felt, how certain things, other things made me feel and how they bothered me um, and the end result. And I came up with my own answer to the why question. Why did, they do, why did that happen to me? Why did they do that to me? And I incorporated that into the letter. Like, I think this happened to me because that person was mentally ill, that person was vengeful, that whatever it was. And it actually helped a lot, a lot. Like that weight of not knowing, I had two people actually knowing what I was going through helped tremendously. Okay, moving on again, <laughs> before I get all. Okay, so small meal, you know, some probiotics, some I do take those because um, I have, I guess, permanent migraines now, um, and the medicine makes me nauseated, so I have been working to tweak my food accordingly um, with staying in the diet. Um, and yes, I'm a rocker chick. You're going to hear a lot of rock. That's just how it's going to be. Um, if you don't like the channel, just don't watch it. I don't care at this point. I'm just making this for me, pretty much. Um, if I look too weird, I don't care about camera filters. I don't care about any of that. So I'm just me. And that's what you're going to get. Um, yeah, I'm kind of getting a good playlist, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch it up. Hmm. That is interesting. Okay. Uh, I guess they made an update to the system. I don't like it. That's weird. What are you doing? Okay. I guess I have to go back, like, back a lot. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So we are gonna go with an oldie but a goodie. And here we go. Prodigy. Mm. Okay. So while we're bettering ourselves and everything, um, I take small bites of food. I make sure to chew it longer so that that way it's it's not about like chewing it so it's like totally obliterated but I chew longer so that it takes me longer to take the next bite um I've incorporated that and I don't know where I heard it I think my grandmother maybe which hey Florence I love you and I miss you and I'm sorry they're keeping you locked up in your room it's terrible um, yeah, my grandma's my best friend. One of my best friends. Um, I actually have three. <laughs> um, so, this is what I do. Let's get up and, um, check this out. I have my weights. And so, I usually just game and work out, like I said, um, my channel describes. Um, to those of you that don't know about depression much, it, it takes a lot um, of energy 
it usually kind of, it's like the depression sucks all the energy out at the same time you're in that hole. So you don't even have the energy to re reach up really. Um, so it takes a lot of energy to do certain things sometimes and motivate yourself. And especially if you're a pessimist, because you're just going to think everything's going to end really bad, horribly. For years, I thought if I left my house that bad things would happen, which they kind of did. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And I am doing my wrist strengthening first, because I always do it first. I feel like it warms my joints up to other stuff. Um, yeah. So this is my new routine and I'm probably going to, right after this little bit of a warm up, I'm going to eat my food and probably play a fast paced game and since I'm starting late with this video, uh, then I will start working out and cut a half hour into my next scheduled thing. Um, to make up for this little segment. Um, got kind of off track. But it was some points that I feel needed to be said. So I'm glad that I did it. And I'm glad I started the channel, honestly. And as soon as I figure out how to insert videos and like put vi one video with another video and mold them or whatever, I don't know. I'll figure that out eventually. One of my cousins will tell me or something. And, um,. Hopefully, I hope to have some, like, guest speakers, I guess I would say. Like, I have some family members that might have some insight into this channel, and they might have something really good for, to say. Like, I have one cousin that, um, she's actually a personal trainer and, like, a body nutritionist and all that. And she tried to help me, um, in the beginning of me starting to do this. Um, so I... I would say, yeah, I would want her to come on my channel for sure. And maybe my other cousin could come because <laughs> he deals with your brain, you know? So I would be very interested on what they would have to say. Um, I might add a little peppy person in here that I know is going to be peppy. And they're like, oh, you can do it, you can do it. Like, they have no idea what depression is at all. Um, just because I, I think that would be good to incorporate into the group since I was talking about that. So I guess uh, good morning, have a nice day, have a wonderful day. If you're depressed, don't worry, I feel you. You will get out of bed one day, uh, unless you're on bed rest. And then you can dance in your bed, okay? Just keep moving, keep doing something, do something. Don't just sit here and watch movies. Don't sit here and watch TV. If you're watching a movie, if you're watching TV, if you're playing a game, if that's what you need to do because of your trauma or whatever is going on in your life, you can still move, okay? You can still, walking in place, you can still walk in place, okay? You can do some of the wall exercises, do a little jig, do dance, move around, switch hands. If you're on bed rest, this is a really good one. Um, I did that a lot. Um, actually picked my legs up a lot and like, <laughs> my broken leg. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you soon and we'll see you after.